We're in Glencoe with the buckle just behind me and we're following the edge of the Glencoe Caldera. So on this little map here, this orange region marks the edge of the caldera and in fact the bright orange uh, rocks that make a ring around like this, these are the uh, ring fault intrusion. So and we're following the ring fault intrusion up the burn here and the burn actually just cuts through it follows the ring fault intrusion all the way up it's really easy to follow and the idea is that during a big caldera collapse eruption the lid of the caldera breaks up and falls down into the emptying caldera and the stuff that's busy erupting comes up the sides up the faults and so this is should be the same material as there's erupted in the volcanics over on the three sisters in the buckle and what you can see is there's a slightly more grey rock here and there's a slightly more pink rock. And the pink rock is rhyolite in composition, so the pink colour comes from the alkali feldspars. And the grey rock is what's called a diorite or monza diorite. And when that's erupted, what it makes is andesite. So these are the two rock types that you get erupted out in, in the volcanics out in the Three Sisters and on, on the Buckle. And you can see there's a gradual transition from one to the other. So they're not separate eruptions that produce these two magma types. They come out in a single eruption. And what happens is that when the magma chamber uh, is full before an eruption, it's all crystallizing away and iron and magnesium rich minerals settle out. So what's left over gets more and more silica rich and becomes rhyolite in composition. So gradually the magma chamber fills up or changes into rhyolite composition. When you have a new influx of magma from the bottom, that tends to be much more basic, so andesite, and it comes in from the bottom, it heats everything up, it makes all the water which is uh, segregating into the rhyolite boil, and that then drives the eruption. So what comes out first is rhyolite, and what comes out at the end of the eruption is the stuff that's at the bottom of the magma chamber, which is the andesite, which then comes out on top. So we can see the rhyolite here and the andesite. And when you go up onto uh, something like the zigzags, you start off with rhyolite. So when you get onto the zigzag, that's the first part of it where the, the little cave is and the slab is. Immediately above that is rhyolite, and that's the start of an eruption. As you go higher and higher up through the sequence, it becomes more andesitic because what's come out first landed first, and what came out afterwards landed afterwards. So you get this inverted sequence over there, and here we see it nicely, it's very clear that there's a gradual transition from rhyolite here to something more andesitic here.